guys, and what's good, Ring Fit Nation? So, are we finally going to get the Switch 2? <laughs> um, I cannot tell you guys the number of times I've seen predictions, right, for, the, for Nintendo's next generation console, man. I think I started seeing my first, like the first time I've ever seen like a prediction for the Switch 2, I think as early as 2020. <laughs> yeah, I, I think it, it was either 2020 or 2021. My point is, I've been seeing this for a long time. The Switch 2, right, is almost up there with Grand Theft Auto 6. You understand? <laughs> In terms of like rumored release windows and shit, like. That Grand Theft Auto has finally been announced, but what I'm saying is, the Switch 2 is pretty up there. But anyway, um, so according to another analyst, you know, we we uh we're going to be getting a Switch 2 this year. In fact, I've seen articles from last year saying that we're going to be getting a Switch 2 this year. So, um, I'm curious to see if we if we are actually going to get our hands on the console. Let's hope it. Let's hope we do. But anyway, um, so the Switch 2 is likely to be an iteration rather than revolution, predicts analysts. And I just want to know what you guys think, man. Because me personally, right? Because we're going we're gonna, to um, get into the article. But me personally, you know, I have some things that I want in the Switch 2, you know. And let me know what you guys want in the Switch 2 in the comment section down below. But before we get into all of that, Please make sure you guys subscribe to my channel at Rain Fit Gaming. We are on the road to 2,000 subscribers. Help me get there. I will love you forever. And of course, man, follow my Facebook page at Rain Fit Gaming and follow my Twitter, my X, whatever you want to call it, at Rain Fit 24. All right, all right. But anyway, back to what I was saying. You know, one of the things I want, right, at the top of everybody's list, that, you know, because I, before I started recording, I did a little bit of research. At the top of everybody's list, more power, more power, more power, more power. Now, traditionally with Nintendo's consoles, or every single, I'm not going to say every single one, but and I think since like, no, the Nintendo 64, right? The Nintendo 64 was, was underpowered compared to the PlayStation, if I'm not mistaken. I think it was. Anyway, my point is, right, since, like, the GameCube and up, all the Nintendo's consoles have been relatively underpowered in comparison to Sony's and Microsoft. Now, that's not to say that Nintendo's consoles aren't good. They just didn't have the power of their competitors, you know, and but that... That wasn't an issue for the Wii, because ever like the Wii, <laughs> we all know what a colossal success the Wii was, but we also know what a colossal failure the Wii U was. Side note, right? The Wii U, man, that name, oh my god, that name just pisses me off still. Every time I hear the name Wii U, and the funny thing is, look, right, I have, I, st I still have my Wii U. I, I still have it. I still have it. In fact, I have all like Nintendo hardware. I have every single console on hand except the 64 and the um gamecube I, i've had it but i don't have it physically but anyway my point is you know just because nintendo's consoles are underpowered that doesn't mean you know they aren't good it's just you know nintendo in my opinion has had the same problems for decades now right third party games don't run well on nintendo's like hardware Matter of fact, scratch that. That's too broad. Most third-party third party games don't run well on Nintendo's hallway. Please, don't be mad at me in the comments. Don't be mad at me in the comments. I know I'm not lying. All right, don't believe me? Mortal Kombat 1 for Nintendo Switch. <laughs> uh-huh, yep, yep, yep. I, I, yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. The shit looked terrible, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Anyway, my point is, like, even we could go as far as back as to say as Call of Duty. Call of Duty on the uh, on the Wii, I believe it was. Was it? I know they had Call of Duty Black Ops Two on the um, Wii U, which ugh, it was it, it was ugh. But anyway, my point is, right? Nintendo's consoles 
Like, their bread and butter isn't third-party games because, like I just said, they don't run them too well. They don't. But first-party games. First-party games is why the majority of the people who buy Nintendo consoles, the majority of people who are diehard Nintendo fans, that 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 is the reason why you know Nintendo is king, right? Because they give you experiences and games that you can't get anywhere else. So you know, as long as Nintendo continue to do that, they'll be fine. Even though this system don't have that much power. Anyway, next thing, right? Oh, <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm I'm with the addition and the popularity of the um. Out. I, I guess you could call it like you know their their retro library. I, I don't I don't know what to call it, but you know if you have a Nintendo um, Nintendo Online subscription, you have you get access to sixty four games, Super Nintendo games, Game Boy um, Game Boy games, Nintendo games, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. For the Switch too, I would I would hope that they would add not only Nintendo DS but Nintendo 3DS games to that library. What do you guys think? That'd be awesome, right? Right, that'd be great. Um. I would love for them to have 1080p portable 4K on on the um dock if possible. You know, if I'm asking for too much, I, I probably am, but you know, that would be cool. You know, and I mean outside of that, I don't really have any too I don't have too many complaints, man, about you know, I don't really have too many demands because it's Nintendo. I'm trying to be realistic with my list, you know, because Nintendo's gonna do Nintendo, right? You know, like I said, even though their their system technically is terribly underpowered, like I think um, the Nintendo Switch uses a chip from 2014, 2015. It's terrible. It was underpowered on release. So, but the thing that, like I said, Nintendo saving grace is that, you know, they give you phenomenal first-party games like Smash Brothers. You're not playing Smash. Like I don't know how Nintendo does it, right? Those guys are like wizards, right? Because their first-party games look like. Ah! <laughs> like Mario looks beautiful, Zelda looks phenomenal. Smash Brothers, oh my God! When the like Smash Brothers is a system seller on its own, you understand? Smash Brothers is so successful that <laughs> companies have have tried and failed miserably to just like to copy it. Case in point, yeah, look at that too. Sony All Stars, <laughs> Battle Royale, and um, more recently, Nickelodeon All Star Brawl too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can say what y'all want. Those are Smash clones, and they, they, they. Uh, mm. Anyway, <laughs> part of me, I went on a tangent, but anyway, we're gonna get we're gonna get into this article. But I just wanted to talk to y'all, man. Um, Switch to likely to be an iteration rather than revolution, predicts analysts. Nintendo's next generation console is expected to launch this year. Hopefully, fingers crossed. I love more hardware. Um, Nintendo Switch, Nintendo's Switch successor will launch this year and will likely be an iteration of the current hardware design rather than a revolution. That's according to Dr. Serkan Toto, CEO of Tokyo-based game industry consultancy, Cock. Cantan Games, who contributed his forecast for 2024 and Game Industry Biz annual analyst prediction feature. Although the company is yet to comment publicly, Nintendo's next generation console is widely expected to launch this year after VGC reported that development kits are in the hands of developers as the platform as the platform holder prepares its plans. So like, man, I don't know. Hopefully we get it this year. I, like I said, I want more hardware. I'm not complaining. I'm definitely gonna buy it. It's not like I'm not. Um, according to Canton Games, Toto, the console could launch at four hundred, a hundred dollars higher than the Switch launched at. And there, and there's a chance its games could adopt the seventy dollar pricing of PS Five and Xbox Series X. Now, right. My issue with that is all right, they're gonna be charging us seventy dollars seventy five with tax or seventy six depending on where you are but i don't wanna I don't wanna pay xbox series x and p s five prices for games that don't run or don't look good on Nintendo hardware. I just don't wanna do it right I don't think it's fair. 
And I don't I don't believe it's fair to the people who's willing to overlook the fact that the Switch 2 is going to definitely most likely be underpowered in comparison to the PS5 and the Series X. I mean, that goes without saying. But I, I, I don't feel that it's right to charge that 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 price tag for that. I just don't I don't believe it's fair. Now for Nintendo first party games, I I, I would pay that. For a first party game, I would pay that because first party games, like I said, mwah, beautiful. They look they they run phenomenally. They graphically they look amazing. So I, I it's worth it. It's worth it in in that respect. For third party games, like I said, Mortal Kombat One on the Nintendo Switch is by far the worst experience I've ever had. And I used to play NBA Two K. Right? I know I'm um I'm going on a tangent, but I used to play NBA Two K on every console. You know, back then it was Xbox One, PS Four, and I played it on the Nintendo Switch. And on PS4, Xbox One, the game ran just fine. No, nothing. On the Nintendo Switch, though. On the Nintendo Switch, that game ran so bad. It was like... It was choppy like this. It was so hard to fucking play. It was terrible. The graphics looked bad. The game looked like PS2. It was horrible. So my point is, I don't think it's fair. I don't think it'd be fair to charge people $70 for that quality. You know, so if Nintendo is going to be charging people seventy dollars, their system is going to get is going to need a major hardware buff. I'll, I'll continue with the article. Um, according to the industry consultant, Nintendo's next console will again have portable functionality, as VGC reported last year. The next system is also likely to be an iteration rather than a revolution. Nintendo might add some bells and whistles to the device. But it would be similar to the current Switch. I'm not complaining about that. I love the, I love the current Switch. I think the current Switch is a phenomenal console. The concept is is genius. You know, I love it. I have no complaints, like none. I don't. I can't think of a bad thing to say about the Switch. Aside from the Joy Cons, the Joy Cons, worst controllers I've ever held. Aside from, I ain't gonna lie to you. In my opinion, Nintendo makes the worst controllers. <laughs> Get mad at me all you want to. I don't care. Nintendo makes the worst controllers, man, in my opinion. The Super Nintendo, the SNES controller is cool. NES controller, cool. Not mad at that. 64 controller, terrible. Worst controller ever. It's like weird. It's weird. It's like, it's, it's weird. The game controller, not that bad, but eh, not, I'm not really a big fan of it. The, the, I don't know. I just didn't really like it too much. The Wii controller... You had to hook it up to the... Anybody remember the Wii? We had to hook your control up to the Wiimote. You had to have a Wiimote in your pocket. Woo! Mm-mm. The Wii U controller, though. The Wii U Pro controller, major upgrade. Switch Pro controller, major upgrade. Those two controllers are just fine. But the controllers before that, though, mm. mm 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 The worst. And the Joy-Cons, Jesus Christ, baby. Can you say Joy-Con drift? Let's... Oh, please fix them. Joy, fix, please fix them Joy-Cons for the next Switch. Fix them controllers. Nintendo, I'm begging you. All right, let's continue. And because there is Pokemon and Pokemon is associated with handheld gaming, there is no way on earth Nintendo would drop the portability feature for their next big thing. Nintendo president Shintaro Fukuawa, I know I pronounced that wrong. Make fun of me all you want, so I'm not mad. Declined to comment on plans for the company's next console in November as it's announced Switch had cleared 132.46 million lifetime sales, Jesus Christ. You know the crazy, crazy thing, right? As I read that, I, I read in the comment that somebody said that the um, Steam Deck, <laughs> I'm sorry. Somebody said the Steam Deck <clears throat> was gonna be the Nintendo Switch killer. <laughs> Now, I have a Steam Deck, so you know, say what y'all want about me. I have a Steam Deck, but hardware-wise, functionality-wise, I agree with you. Because the crazy thing is, right, you can play Nintendo Switch on the Steam Deck. Yes, yes, you can. But if we talk about purely from a sales point of view. I, I don't, I don't know why somebody would make such foolish statements. But the Steam Deck is not even in the same league. As the Nintendo Switch, just off name alone, Nintendo's going to sell more than the Valve Steam Deck. You understand? And the Valve Steam Deck is more so for PC gamers who want to take their PC library on the go. 
But like I said, from a hardware standpoint and a functionality standpoint, in my opinion, you know, the Steam Deck is definitely a better console. You could you can install Windows, you can play multiple different um different emulators on there, including Nintendo Switch. So, you know, you know, it wins in that it wins that battle, but sales wise Anyway, I'm gonna continue. Um Despite unusually strong performance for a console entering its seventh seventh year on the market, Nintendo Switch hardware sales are clearly in a de in decline, especially in the major markets outside of Japan. In Nintendo's last fiscal year, Switch sales declined by twenty two percent compared to the previous year, and if it reaches its current target of fifteen million for this year, that would represent a further decline of 16.5 percent i mean people already have it i don't understand like right what i'm confused about right because i'm not an analyst right and i might feel free to call me an idiot i'm fine with that but like oh before we i'm, I'm gonna i'm, I'm gonna say I'm, I'm gonna finish this point i want to read that i want to read this quote that i um, quote from somebody right people already have the console though right so i don't understand i, I, I the console is seven years old how much more do you guys expect to sell of this thing? I don't know. Like I said, feel free to call me an idiot. I, that's just the way I look at it. But anyway, somebody, somebody um, posted this right, and I and I want to read this tweet. I, I, I was reading the comments before I posted this video, and I want and, and this tweet sums up is like is like spot on. And the tweet reads, and I quote: "The jump from Xbox 360 to Xbox One to everything after that was absolutely not a revolution. Same story with Sony with the PS3." You might argue that this goes back to the OG Xbox era and PS2, but that's a little finicky. Nintendo is the only company, he spelled company wrong, is the only company that makes revolutionary consoles. Snatched the N64, GameCube to Wii U, Switch to, we're all complete changes in what you got when you bought home a Nintendo console. And that is a fucking fact. That is part of the reason why Nintendo can sell underpowered consoles and still do very well because you are getting a whole new fucking experience. That's a fact. From the SNES to the fucking um, N64, or on the SNES, you, did, you didn't have um, four players at once. The 64, you did. From the GameCube to the Wii. That, the Wii? The Wii was so successful, it had people that, who wasn't even gamers playing games. Do you remember that? I remember playing the Wii for the first time. I was like, oh, this shit is the this is amazing i remember i had the wii zapper i had the um i, I, I had the, the tennis racket i had the, the bat oh my god phenomenal the wii was so successful playstation and microsoft tried to copy it but that's a different conversation and you know from the from the wii to the switch i'm gonna skip wii u you know because all Wii U did was give us a, a tablet which was cool too but eh but from the wii to the switch you know, it, you know, we got basically got two consoles in one. You have a high, you have a, um, you have your home console, and you can just take it up and go with you. You know, like I said, nothing like Nintendo. So that's why that's part of the reason why they can get away with the underpowered consoles. But anyway, um, I'm done rambling, man. I, I, I'm done. I just wanted to give you guys my thoughts on this. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. What do you guys want in the Switch Two? I know what I want, but what do you guys want? Are we even getting the Switch Two this year? Let me know in the comment section down below and of course if you haven't already hit that subscribe button and i will see you guys in the next ring fit gaming video